In this video, I'll reveal the nine signs and symptoms of high cholesterol that you should never ignore. We all know that high cholesterol can be harmful to the body, often resulting from a diet high in fatty foods and low in fruits and vegetables. Bad habits, a sedentary lifestyle, and excess weight can worsen the condition. If you're concerned, the first step is to visit your doctor for a blood test to monitor your cholesterol levels and detect any changes early. Even if you feel fine, your body will signal you if your cholesterol levels rise. Here are the nine symptoms of high cholesterol you must pay attention to. 1. Heart palpitations. We usually associate an increased heart rate with physical activity, which is normal and not typically a cause for concern. However, if you frequently experience heart palpitations even when you're at rest, it could indicate that your heart is working harder and pumping blood faster due to cholesterol-clogged arteries. These palpitations are often accompanied by intense pain on the left side of the chest. 2. Tingling in the limbs. If you frequently experience tingling in your arms and legs, it's important to check your cholesterol levels. When blood vessels are clogged with cholesterol, the peripheral nerves don't receive the necessary oxygen, leading to that tingling sensation. 3. Lipomas. A lipoma is a tumor composed of fatty tissue that forms between the skin and muscle. They typically appear on the neck, arms, legs, or abdominal area. If you notice a lipoma on any part of your body, it's important to see your doctor and have a blood test done. 4. Gray ring around the iris. Typically, a ring around the iris is an age-related change. However, if you're under 45 and notice this ring, it may indicate high cholesterol levels. 5. Bumps on the eyelids. If you see small, pimple-like bumps on your eyelids, take note. A yellowish hue in these bumps can signal elevated cholesterol levels. Although these bumps don't impact your vision, they can be removed through cosmetic surgery. However, the best approach is to address the underlying issue by normalizing your cholesterol levels. 6. Pain in the upper parts of the spine. Unpleasant sensations in the back of the head, neck, shoulder area, and upper spine can signal inadequate blood flow. Additionally, dizziness may occur, which can be attributed to insufficient nourishment reaching the brain. 7. Lack of appetite and excess weight. Metabolic disorders can lead to fat accumulation in the abdominal area. Additionally, a reduced ability of the gastrointestinal tract to process food can cause food to remain in the intestines longer than necessary. This can result in a constant feeling of fullness while body weight continues to increase. Individuals with high cholesterol may also experience loose stools. 8. Fatigue and excessive emotions. Chronic digestive issues can prevent the body from getting the energy it needs to function properly. Other symptoms of high cholesterol may include frequent mood swings, reduced attention span, poor memory, and depression. 9. An unhealthy lifestyle. Although more of a sign than a symptom, consuming excessive unhealthy foods, smoking, and alcohol abuse are major contributors to high cholesterol levels. Additionally, Genetics play a role. About 1 in 500 individuals is genetically predisposed to high cholesterol and will experience it regardless of their lifestyle choices. You need to also pay attention to your legs. In addition to affecting the heart, high cholesterol can also cause problems in the lower legs in particular, as it can lead to peripheral arterial damage. High cholesterol often provokes a stroke or a heart attack. If you want to detect a problem in time, you need to pay attention to the signals in your body, including tired legs. Insufficient blood circulation causes a feeling of discomfort and even severe pain in the legs, which can be expressed from the lower leg to the pelvis and can affect either one leg or both. Generally, a person may experience discomfort and unpleasant sensations while walking. Other symptoms include skin and nail changes, hair loss, slow growth, tightening of the nail structure, and shiny, 
tight skin can indicate high cholesterol levels in the blood. Carefully examine your skin and look for any change in color. If your skin turns reddish or bluish, you most likely have a blood circulation problem. Cold feet. A sensation of coldness in the feet is normal at low temperatures and can be age-related as well. However, you need to consult a doctor if one foot is warmer than the other. Nighttime cramps. Cramps are spasms, a clear sign of circulatory disorders caused by clogged blood vessels. If you have a spasm, you can dangle your foot off the bed. This will stimulate the blood flow to the lower parts of your legs and relieve the pain. How to lower your cholesterol. Eating a healthy diet and doing regular exercise can lower the level of cholesterol in your blood. Adopting healthy habits, such as eating a balanced diet and staying active, can also help prevent your cholesterol levels from becoming high in the first place. It's important to keep your cholesterol in check because high cholesterol levels increase your risk of heart disease and stroke. If you're concerned about your cholesterol, talk to your doctor. If you're aged between 40 to 74, you can get your cholesterol checked as part of the National Health Service Health Check if you live in the UK. If your doctor has advised you to change your diet to reduce your blood cholesterol, you should cut down on saturated fat and eat more fiber, including plenty of fruits and vegetables. Let's take a look at saturated and unsaturated fats. There are two main types of fat, saturated and unsaturated. Eating too many foods high in saturated fat can raise the level of cholesterol in your blood. Most people in the UK eat too much saturated fat. Foods high in saturated fat include meat pies, sausages, and fatty cuts of meat, butter and lard, cream, hard cheeses, cakes and biscuits, and foods containing coconut or palm oil. Eating foods that contain unsaturated fat instead of saturated fat can actually help reduce cholesterol levels. Try to replace foods containing saturated fats with small amounts of foods high in unsaturated fats like oily fish such as salmon and mackerel, nuts such as almonds and cashews, seeds such as sunflower and pumpkin seeds, avocados, and vegetable oils and spreads such as rapeseed or vegetable oil, sunflower, olive, and corn oil. Trans fats. Trans fats can also raise cholesterol levels. Trans fats can be found naturally in small amounts in some foods, such as animal products including meat, milk, and dairy foods. Artificial trans fats can be found in hydrogenated fat, and some processed foods such as biscuits and cakes contain trans fats. In the UK, manufacturers and most supermarkets have reduced the amount of trans fats in their products. Most people in the UK do not eat a lot of trans fats, but you should keep checking food labels for hydrogenated fats or oils. Reducing total fat. Reducing the total amount of fat in your diet can also help reduce your risk of heart disease. Instead of roasting or frying, consider grilling, steaming, poaching, boiling, or microwaving. Choose lean cuts of meat and go for lower fat varieties of dairy products and spreads, or eat smaller amounts of full fat varieties. Fiber and cholesterol. Eating plenty of fiber helps lower your risk of heart disease, and some high fiber foods can help lower your cholesterol. Adults should aim for at least 30 grams of fiber a day. Your diet should include a mix of sources of fiber, including wholemeal bread, brown and whole grain cereals, fruit and vegetables, potatoes with their skin on, oats and barley, beans, peas and lentils, and other vegetables, nuts and seeds. You should aim to eat at least five portions of different fruits and vegetables a day. Factors that can increase your risk of bad cholesterol include Poor diet Eating saturated fat found in animal products and trans fats found in some commercially baked cookies, crackers, and microwave popcorn can raise your cholesterol levels. Foods that are high in cholesterol, such as red meat and full-fat dairy products, will also increase your cholesterol. Obesity. Having a body mass index, BMI, of 30 or greater, puts you at a much higher risk of cholesterol. Lack of exercise. Exercise helps boost your body's HDL, good cholesterol, while increasing the size of particles that make up your LDL, bad cholesterol, 
making it less harmful. Smoking. Cigarette smoking damages the walls of your blood vessels, making them more prone to accumulating fatty deposits. Smoking might also lower your level of HDL, good cholesterol. Age. Because of your body's chemistry changing as you age, your risk of high cholesterol climbs. For instance, as you age, your liver becomes less able to remove LDL cholesterol. Diabetes. High blood sugar contributes to higher levels of dangerous cholesterol, called very low-density lipoprotein, VLDL, and lower HDL cholesterol. High blood sugar also damages the lining of your arteries. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.